Hi guys and welcome to a new video. In this specific video, I'm going to test if PyCharm and Python development works on Apple's new M1 chip on the brand new 2020 MacBook Pro 13 inch baseline with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of SSD storage. So as always, I'm going to download PyCharm as many of you guys have requested, I should try it with this. So I'm going for the community version. I do have a license for educational purposes, but uh, the community version should do the trick anyways. So to download this, I'm going pretty fast today. So the download is finished, so I am unpacking the DMG. And, I'm, and then I'm installing it basically. So PyCharm, I'm moving into the applications folder. That's much nicer user experience, by the way, as with Eclipse. All right, now it should be installed. So let's fire it up. So we wanna open, sure. PyCharm community, I don't want to import anything. I will go with Never use PyCharm. No, I go with the dark side, as you might know already. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I just want to use PyCharm. So application seems to be working. As you know, um, basically every x86 uh, application should be working because it's translated with Rosetta 2. But as you know, we already have seen some applications. So I'm going to create a new project there. I'm using Python 2, but there should really be no difference when using Python 3, to be honest. All right, now we do get an error. The executable is not functioning. So does that mean that... Oh, virtual environment is not compatible with the system. Okay, interesting. I don't want to use any tips right there, so... Indexing, uh, yeah, sure, allow it. Okay, and now let's configure Python interpreter. I just want to add one. Okay, so I think I have to install Python was working in the terminal, but I could not make it run with PyCharm, which is a bummer, but I would try to fire up Visual Studio Code and run a Python script in there. So I'm very curious to see if this will work, actually. Yeah, so I do want to install the Python extensions. So give it a test and Visual Studio Code. So everything looking good so far. Go back to Py. Linter Python install, I, I don't want to use an Linter right now. All right, so let's see. Yeah. And here we are in VS Code. Yeah, and there is the output. So I'm not sure why PyCharm is not running or doing its thing it's supposed to do. Probably I misconfigured it somehow. But what I will say is Python 2.7 and 3.9, as you see right there, is actually working on the M1 machines. Uh, I'm sure there is a way to install PyCharm properly, but with VS Code, no problems at all. And yeah, as I said before, if you are using these machines to earn money for professional work, I would suggest that you wait a little bit longer until all applications got their updates. So thank you guys for watching. If you do have any questions or comments, uh, write them below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.